Hello, Gemini and cross watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your weekly tarot reading for December 15th through the 21st. So let's take a look, guys. If you enjoy the message, find that it resonates or that it's helpful for your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here. So, the fates. Something faded is about to happen. Um, the fates talks about <clears throat> alignment with the universe, the universe coming together. I feel like this is something that you've been working towards. Um, milk and honey talks about abundance. Um, Fates can also symbolize acceptance. I feel like there's a message that's coming through. Um, this could also be an intuitive message. But it's leading you to the land of milk and honey, the land of prosperity. Going with the flow, accepting acceptance acceptance i'm hearing so let's see here gemini what we can see for this week acceptance what do you need to know about acceptance hmm. let's see here most important message for gemini is here what does gemini need to see So, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands in reverse. So, obviously, the Queen of Wands can symbolize a fire sign. Um, can symbolize somebody who's friendly, um, calm, reserved, but sociable. This card also symbolizes being able to let things go. Releasing attachment. Acceptance. I do get the sense that um, something is going to come in that's going to take you by surprise. And this could be in relationships, um, but I'm getting more of a sense of business opportunity, career opportunity abundance um this is something that has been long awaited you've been waiting for this to come for a long time five of swords in reverse another card of acceptance letting go it seems like there's a common theme here, Gemini. One second, let me write this down. It seems like, honestly, and I know I've, I've and several readers have said this because I watch readings myself too. Um, Gemini's have really been letting go of some things. Um, a lot of people, places, and things that were no longer serving them. I 
feel like there's been an ending and this has been a challenge for you to let go of. There's been something that's ended here that's been very difficult for you to release. It's almost like if everybody turned against you, everybody left you out in the cold. Um, this situation definitely was brought into your life to tenderize you, <clears throat> to help soften you up a little bit, help break you open, crack you open. The energy that I'm picking up was a, in the past a person who might have been very cold, very conf conflicted. I do still feel here, Gemini, that your your guard is still up. There's still some contemplation that needs to take place here, some healing that needs to happen. Now, there could also be a missed opportunity um, based on this guard that you have up, okay? Understand, Gemini, that everything happens for a reason. And sometimes the reason why we go through these Ten of Swords, Tower moments is because we ignored warning signs. <clears throat> we didn't listen to our intuition or trust the universe in the first place. And that's why we went through this traumatic event. Paying attention, being more consciously aware is probably one of the best feelings ever. There very well could be somebody here that's spying, spying on you. I do get the sense that there's a need to get grounded. Um, there's a need to accept, accept. Release, accept, let go. Holding on to grudges just hinders us from moving forward. I get the sense here, Gemini, that you're working towards letting go of something, an ending. Whether this is an ending in relationships, career, this could also be with family, friends, a past lover. Um, letting go of this relationship and focusing on your goals, your dreams, the things that you can control. Let's pull a couple cards here for the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, Spirit. What's the Ten of Swords here? Or Gemini. Six of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles. I feel like you feel betrayed. There's been some sort of betrayal here. You walked away, even though this caused a lot of pain, a lot of sadness. I feel like you're the one that walked away from this situation. Understand that this is bringing in balance. Ultimately, um, how long will it take? It seems like everybody's at a standstill. Everybody's just looking, <laughs> watching from a distance. Nobody's making any movement forward. Okay. Be patient. Be patient with the process. Focus on what you're passionate about. Focus on your career, your finances. Um, maybe even taking a deeper look within self and trying to um, really just have an understanding and awareness of how you are in relationships, of how you are in career. Um, try to be more self-aware, okay? That's kind of the first step of changing any behaviorisms, characteristics that are no longer
we're serving. I really feel like the key, the key here this week is going to be acceptance. There may be some sort of communication. You may have to stand your ground and with a person who made you feel abandoned and left in the cold. Like, I'm not trying to go through that again, so there needs to be trust built back. And if you're not willing to do that, then I don't even want to entertain this conversation. And it doesn't seem like you're very willing with all the stuff that you got going on. Ultimately, it's up to you. But I do feel like this could be a cycle that could replay itself if you're not careful. So, Gemini, this is an interesting power thought card that came out for you guys. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to get entered into the drawing that I do here every month for a free personal reading, feel free to comment your astrological sign below. If you enjoy the message, find that it resonates or helpful, feel free to subscribe to the channel for future messages. So, the power thought card is, my life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. My life is a mirror. So, Gemini, I'm going to do an extended reading. I want to take a look at this past person's position. When they come back, what's going to be their position, right? What are we looking at here? And then I also want to take a look at maybe some guidance on how to um, have some positive movement forward here. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.